Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rom-com leading men who fell off the map. Where did, where did you disappear to? Miss me bad, huh? For this list, we're looking at those actors who stole our hearts by featuring in some of our favorite romantic comedies, but who are no longer getting leading roles or enjoying any notable successes. They may still be acting today, but they're no longer as successful as they once were. She made up her mind about me a long time ago. Some things never change. <laughs> if you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Chad Michael Murray. Do you think we could just rewind this whole thing and start again? For a while, it seems like this dreamboat was everywhere. He stole our naive young hearts with roles like Jake in 2003's Freaky Friday and Austin in 2004's A Cinderella Story. While keeping us glued to our television sets in more dramatic turns as Lucas Scott in One Tree Hill and Charlie Todd in Dawson's Creek. However, as quickly as he had come into our lives, Murray largely disappeared from the public eye. Although starring in some minor television and film roles since, Murray hasn't yet regained his swoon-worthy leading man roles that made us fall in love with him. All right, and, and if it's all the same to you, I really don't want to go out next Friday night and start the whole process over again with some girl I'm not going to like half as much as I like you. Number 9. Richard Gere You know you've got a dish on your hands when you fall in love with the actor regardless of the genre he's in. You have to study your opponent, how he moves, so you know what he's going to do before he does it. Whether he was playing a knight of the round table, a male escort, or an aviation officer, he would capture hearts left, right, and center. However, it was for rom-coms like 1990's Pretty Woman and 1999's Runaway Bride that Gear is most fondly remembered. Sadly, after some unremarkable roles in the 2010s, the rugged actor has not appeared in a feature film since 2017, leaving just his 90s movie characters to keep us warm at night. You want a man? who will lead you down the beach with his hand over your eyes just so you can discover the feel of sand under your feet. You want a guy that wake you up at dawn. He's just bursting to talk to you. Can't wait another minute just to find out what you'll say. Number eight, Adrian Grenier. How'd you get this number? I remembered it. Take me? You're drunk. Charming, dark, and handsome, this actor physically embodied what a rom-com leading man should look like. After leaving Bard College in New York, he was cast opposite Melissa Joan Hart in 1999's Drive Me Crazy. The portrayal cemented Grenier as a heartthrob to teen girls everywhere, although shockingly, Grenier seemed to appear in everything but romantic comedies thereafter. Action flicks, thrillers, dramas, and his most notable performance in the show Entourage, as well as the 2015 film based on the show. Since then, however, Grenier was never again able to capture the spark that lit us up and Drive Me Crazy, and has made sparse appearances in minor roles during the late 2010s. I read the script for your next movie. You're better than this. You're doing another rewrite. Yeah, well, I read it again. She's right. It sucks. Number 7. Michael Scheffling We're going way back for this pick, and that's only because he was the ladies' man of 1984 with the release of Sixteen Candles. Sheffling played Jake Ryan, the athletic, popular, and romantic object of Molly Ringwald's affection, and a character so legendary that 20 years after its release, the Washington Post published an article entitled Real Men Can't Hold a Match to Jake Ryan of Sixteen Candles. Unfortunately, after a smattering of movie appearances, Sheffling ended his career with a sensitive performance in his final movie role in 1991's Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. Over 25 years have passed since then, and still we wonder, what if? Number 6. Luke Mabley Although he had been in a few television series and horror films, it was only in 2004 that we really noticed this English actor when he portrayed Edvard, the Crown Prince of Denmark, opposite Julia Stiles in The Prince and Me. You know, if we were in Germany right now, we'd be underground. What? Rust scatter, it means basement. Okay. Sophisticated, charming, and handsome, the prince, posing as a college student, made our teenage hearts beat faster in no small part thanks to his posh accent. 
Unfortunately, although reprising his role in 2006's The Prince and Me 2, The Royal Wedding, Abley never appeared in a rom-com again, and the last feature-length film he did star in was released in 2016. Are you saying that love is magical and that it makes people look at each other in an unspoilt way without judgment? Well, why doesn't he just say that? Why can't people just say what they mean? Number 5. Josh Lucas We never thought an Alabama accent could make us this giddy. You and I are in love with two different people. Although we had seen Josh Lucas in a lot of films prior to 2002 and a lot of films afterwards, a leading role in a romantic comedy was not something we expected from him, but boy oh boy was it something we needed. In Sweet Home Alabama, Lucas stars as Jake Perry, the poor southerner who Reese Witherspoon's character spars with before realizing, in true rom-com fashion, that she actually loves her estranged husband. Though still active in supporting roles, Lucas has since not appeared in any leading romantic roles, much to our displeasure and disappointment. What you want to be married to me for, anyhow? So I can kiss you anytime I want. Number four, Carrie Elwes. We blame this fine English actor for giving us the hope that each of us had a Prince Charming waiting for us. Hear this now. I won't always come for you. Yeah, we've never been the same since 1987's The Princess Bride came out. And that is largely due to the funny, romantic, and irresistible Elwes in the lead role as the dashing Wesley. To our knowledge, although going off to star in numerous films in both dramatic and comedic roles, the leading romantic role was no longer in the cards for him. The late 2010s have seen him relegated to supporting roles in minor films, though he has had some decent TV work. The regret is all ours. Drop your soul. Proceed. Number 3. Josh Hartnett Although this stud had his start in horrors and dramas, we are so glad he switched over to rom-coms when he did. If he hadn't, he wouldn't have been able to net our hearts, pun intended, with dreamy characters like the one in 2002's 40 Days and 40 Nights. You might want to try some yeah. tidy whities maybe some jeans. You. Go home. No? Okay. <laughs> Although they weren't comedies, Hartnett proved he could still handle a romantic leading role with 2004's Wicker Park and even 2013's The Lovers. But the romantic roles quickly died off after that, and he hasn't been able to get his mojo back since. No pun intended. And I put myself in a little box. For a while, everything seemed clear. Number 2. Jesse Bradford How we miss the age of Bradford. Advanced chem. Yikes. Um, right, so, are you intimidated? Yeah, a little. Really? No, not really. Starting with 2000's Bring It On, this actor, who began his career at the age of five, established himself as a man with the power to make a swoon. The following year brought According to Spencer, 2008 brought My Sassy Girl, and 2013 brought 10 Rules for Sleeping Around. Despite the years that elapsed between his romantic roles, the Connecticut actor proved he could still charm the ladies, both on and off the screen. Sadly, 2013 was the last time the actor tried his hand in rom-coms, and he hasn't done any films since 2017. How do you even know her? We're old friends. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Freddie Prince Jr. Was there ever any doubt? Ever since 1999's She's All That, we cannot deny that Freddie Prince Jr. has been our silver screen boyfriend. Just name the terms. The years 2000 and 2001 would prove to be the peak of our unrequited love affair with the Los Angeles actor and son of actor-comedian Freddie Prince. In the span of just those two years, Prince Jr. came out with four romantic comedies, opposite actresses like Monica Potter, Julia Stiles, and Jessica Biel. However, the early 2000s marked the end of Prince Jr. fever, and other than a few voice acting roles, he hasn't physically been in a movie since 2008. You want big rewards? You gotta take big risks. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.